everyone, Vlogmas episode 10. Wow, I cannot believe we've got to the end of Vlogmas. This is crazy. Um, I also can't believe I filmed 10 videos for Vlogmas. Last year I only did four and that was the first time I ever did Vlogmas. So I'm really proud of myself. I was aiming to do one video a week and film for the whole week, but I've ended up doing a whole lot more. So I'm very pleased. I really hope you guys have enjoyed Vlogmas this year. I've loved filming it. I am a little bit disappointed that it hasn't been as festive as I would have liked, but life has just got in the way this month. So hopefully next year it will be a lot more festive, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. For today's episode of Vlogmas, I thought I would do something a little bit different to end it off. I am not doing much at the moment, so there really wasn't a whole lot to vlog. I'm just finishing off videos, editing, tying loose ends before Christmas day and we go away skiing. So there will be lots of skiing content to come over on YouTube and on Instagram. So make sure you are following me on Instagram and subscribe to YouTube. I thought for this video, I would give you a look at some outfits that I would choose for New Year's Eve depending on the occasion. So whatever you're doing, I've got you covered with some inspo. Obviously these are just outfits that I would wear to a certain event, but you could mix them around. You might see one outfit for girls night and think actually I would love to wear that to a date night. I don't know, it doesn't really matter, does it? But I've got eight outfits to share with you, some gorgeous pieces. I actually haven't really purchased anything new this year for party season. I've tried to really just shop my own wardrobe, things that I already have, already own, and jazz them up and style them up in a way that just looks gorgeous for New Year's Eve. So I really hope you enjoy this video and thank you again for sticking around with Vlogmas. I'm so appreciative. Let's get into it. So outfit number one is the type of thing I would wear to a black tie event, perhaps you've got maybe a winter wedding over Christmas. This dress is from Nadine Marabi. I think this would just be the most perfect outfit for a winter black tie event. I love this dress so much. It fits so well, literally like a glove. And the detailing is just so beautiful. I paired this with some long black velvet gloves. These are just from Amazon. And I think Amazon is such a good place to get Little added extras for your outfits, just to jazz them up a little bit. Obviously, if I wore this without the gloves, it would still be amazing, but I think it just gives that little wintry, elegant touch to it. And then for shoes, I've gone for my classic Dior slingbacks. I absolutely love these. You guys know I wear these all the time. They are so comfortable, so elegant. I really love the contrast of the white strap as well. I think it just adds something a little bit extra. And you could obviously accessorize this with jewelry you could add like a really gorgeous choker to this you could even add hair accessories or a red lip if that's your thing i like to keep things quite simple when i'm wearing something for the evening that is quite a showstopper this dress is just absolutely gorgeous and you could wear this for any occasion this could even be a gorgeous summer option because you've got the strapless so it's not going to get too hot i just absolutely love it the detailing is beautiful and you just feel like a little princess turning up to a black tie winter event. This next outfit is something I would wear for a night out in the city. Maybe you could actually wear something a little bit more glam, a little bit more interesting, a bit of a talking point. This dress is from Nadine Marabi. I absolutely love this. And the best part of the outfit is the bow. On the back, it is so cute, so gorgeous. It gives you that kind of like festive Christmas vibe but without being a little bit too kind of in your face. This is also a really great dress to take you through the year. You could wear this for hen party, your evening wedding outfit. You could wear this in the summer. You can also take the bow off. So it's a really versatile outfit. You can add the bow if you want something a little bit more fancy, or you can just have the gorgeous strapless white dress. And I would probably also, considering this is like a night in the city, I would also probably bring my white blazer to go with this from Nadine Marabi, which I could just pop on my shoulders. And then we've got that gorgeous little feather detail as well. I think this would be perfect for a night out in the city. You're in a really lovely restaurant, nice and warm. You're wearing something really glam. Maybe you're at a party in London and you just wanna wear something a little bit different. This next look is a little bit more paired back, a little bit more comfortable, but still super elegant. So this is the type of thing I would wear for New Year's Eve at a 
someone's house, perhaps a dinner party or drinks or a more kind of casual affair, but you still want to feel a little bit more dressed up. So I have gone for this gorgeous black silk dress from Charlie London. I absolutely love this. It's completely floor length. It's so beautiful and it has this gorgeous little lace detail on the bottom. So I think it just adds that little bit of something, still a little bit sexy, even though it is just such a gorgeous drapey long dress. It's a really nice option if you don't want to wear something super tight. Obviously after Christmas, I would have eaten so much food. By the time it gets to New Year's Eve, I'm not feeling 100% my best. So I like to wear something that's still super comfortable and flattering while being a little bit glam. So this dress is the perfect option for me for that. I just love all the lace detailing. It's almost like lingerie kind of vibes. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can't go wrong with a black dress. So simple and classy. But then I have dressed this up a little bit with my white boucle Zara jacket, which I would most likely wear on my shoulders just to add a little bit of something. You could also go for a blazer or a different coloured jacket if that's more your style. I could also wear a black one which would look gorgeous but I wanted to add a little bit of difference so that's why I've gone for white. And then to match with the white I've gone for my absolutely stunning Charles and Keith slingbacks. I love these shoes so much. They are absolutely beautiful. These are new in and they have this gorgeous white boucle fabric all around the heel and then a leather cap toe and a little bit of gold as well, which is just so gorgeous. How perfect does this shoe match with this outfit? Just a really nice option for a high heel, but it's not super high, it's not uncomfortable. You actually probably won't even want to take your shoes off because it just feels really comfortable. And then obviously it's New Year's Eve, so I've jazzed it up with a sparkly headband just to give it a little bit of something. Keep your hair out your face. I love a headband, I am so converted to them. Hair accessories are something I've really loved this year. So I picked this one up from ASOS. Just a really simple sparkly headband. And this is just the perfect outfit for being at a friend's house, having a party, having a few glasses of champagne, and still staying super comfortable. This next outfit is super special, super sparkly, a little bit more fun. This is the type of thing I'd probably wear for a girls night out or spending New Year's Eve with all the girls when you're all gonna get glam, really dressed up and just have a really fun evening, whatever you're doing. You could wear this at a house party, at a restaurant, in a club, you could literally wear this anywhere and it's just such a gorgeous dress. What I really love about this is the length and the way that it falls. So it's got this gorgeous cowl neck detail at the front, which I really love. I think this is really flattering. Adjustable straps, so you can adjust that to whatever suits you. And then it just kind of skims the body and it's just a really beautiful style. I love the slit on the leg as well and the color of this is just gorgeous. I think this color would suit any skin tone. It's a really gorgeous like champagne-y baby pink and it just reflects on the light so gorgeously. Obviously you could style this up however you wanted. I've kept it really simple with my shoes and just gone for a really simple nude mule. Just to let the dress do the talking but you could add whatever you want. I was just thinking if I had a pair of cream fluffy heels that would look gorgeous but literally anything, some really lovely earrings, however you wanted to style this up. But this dress is from Pretty Lavish and I absolutely love it, I think it's gorgeous. Such a show stopping piece for New Year. This next outfit is probably one of my favourites and one that I usually reach for, a different combination of this type of thing. So this is the type of thing I would probably wear if I was hosting at my own home. So I'm cooking, I'm entertaining, pouring drinks, but I still want to look glamorous but feel comfortable and be kind of accessible. Um, one thing I find when hosting is I need my hair out the way and I need to wear something that isn't really restrictive or itchy or scratchy or really long sleeves, feathers in my way. That style of outfit isn't practical for me when I'm cooking and hosting. So I like to go for something a little bit more simple. This I love. I love all the textures. I love the combination of the different pieces. So to start with, I'm wearing this gorgeous blazer top from Odd Muse. I am obsessed with this and I'm so excited to get a chance to properly wear this. I love it so much. Me and Jack haven't actually been out for dinner for ages, but I would wear this with some gorgeous suit trousers or leather trousers. I just love it. 
it's beautiful. I'm going to show you the details up close. It's got some button details here and then the lapel of the blazer is across the front. Um, and then you've obviously got the one sleeve, which is quite a long sleeve. But just look how beautiful that is. It's crafted in like a triangle. I just love it. A long sleeve, but obviously very easy to just roll up. And it's only one sleeve, so you've got that little bit of skin. And I have paired this top with a super old skirt. I got this a couple of years ago from River Island. It's just a really lovely tweed skirt with feathers all along the bottom. So the fun bit of the outfit for me is the, the bottom of the skirt, which is out of my way. Still looks gorgeous and really comfortable. And then I've paired this with my Gucci tights just to add a little bit of texture, a little bit of something else. And my Dior heels because they are my most comfortable shoe. And I've also accessorized with a little bow in my hair. This one is from Amazon. Just a really simple hairstyle when you don't want your hair in your face but it's still really cute and elegant. A really easy hairstyle to just still look really chic. This bow is from Amazon and I absolutely love it. This next outfit is really fun and I love this. I think a suit you just can't go wrong with, but I've really dressed it up with some other details. So firstly, the suit is from Nadine Marabi. This is the same blazer that I showed you earlier, but with the matching trousers. Such a gorgeous suit. I absolutely love it. Obviously a suit is a great thing to invest in for an occasion because you can wear it time and time again You can wear it with anything you can mix and match. It's so handy I've actually worn this blazer so much and I've really mixed and matched the trousers and the blazer and then I paired this with a Really fluffy sparkly little crop top. I got this from ASOS in the summer just before I went away You might remember it from the Cypress vlog and it's just such a good show-stopping piece. So simple, really inexpensive to just get a tiny little top or a detail that's a real show-stopping piece and then pair that with something that you've already got in your wardrobe. And of course, I've also added a sparkling headband just to give that little bit more sparkle and my Dior heels as well. Really, really easy outfit, really nice and warm. You don't feel too dressed up because you're essentially wearing trousers and a nice top, but a really nice, chic, fun way to wear an outfit. This is what I would wear if me and Jack were going to London and going out for a nice dinner and some rooftop drinks or something really nice together. I would definitely wear an outfit like this. This next outfit is a little bit different, a little bit more casual. I would probably wear this if I was going to my local pub for drinks or somewhere in my local town for dinner. Just something a little bit more casual, but you still want that New Year's Eve sparkle. So I am wearing these jeans from Me and M, which are so comfortable. I have worn these so much. I absolutely love them. And I've given myself a little bit of height with my heeled boots, which are super old from office. And then I am wearing the show-stopping piece. This netted dress, I've actually tucked into my jeans. Um, I have worn this as a dress before uh, last year for Jack's birthday. But I've styled it with just a really simple black bra. This one is from the Napco. It's a little bit bigger, so it doesn't make me feel as revealed as I would if I was wearing like a lace bra. Um, but I love this. Just look how gorgeous the detailing is. It's all completely sparkly diamonds. I just love how it looks. Obviously, if you wanted to wear something like this, but you didn't want to just wear like a small top underneath or a bra, you could layer this over a jumper or a long sleeve black top maybe like a bodysuit or just a second skin kind of top i have done that before and it looks gorgeous but i would also add on a coat because if i was going to the pub it would mean i was probably walking so i would add my brand new i've literally still got the label in this coat because it literally just arrived this morning um this is from because of alice and it is the most stunning tailored black coat I have probably ever seen. I absolutely love the fit of this. I would wear this on my shoulders like this. Just a really gorgeous elevated piece. Almost kind of like a blazer, but you've got that length to the coat. I just absolutely love this coat so much. So yeah, this would be my outfit for the pub. And of course, lastly, I had to show you an outfit that I would wear if me and Jack were literally just at home on the sofa, chilling, I know lots of people don't like to celebrate New Year's Eve in a massive, massive way, and lots of people don't necessarily go out. My family have never really done that. 
um, similar to Jack's family, we've always kind of just stayed at home, maybe dressed up and had some nice drinks and dinner and then put our pyjamas on and just chilled and played games and just enjoyed the evening. So this is probably the pyjama set that I would wear if I was at home on New Year's Eve this year. I love these pyjamas, they're from HA Designs, the colour of this is just beautiful and they also have personalisation so I have my name written on these. The reason I've chosen these pyjamas is because they feel more like a suit, more like a kind of outfit. The trousers have got pockets in them, which just immediately makes them feel like I could wear these with heels. Um, the material is so thick and luxurious. I probably wouldn't sleep in these because I would get too hot, but as like a nice home outfit, I think these are gorgeous. You could obviously tuck them in if you wanted to, to give like a little bit more of a styled up outfit. And obviously styled with slippers. These ones are my classic slippers that I wear all the time from the Napco. And then I just jazzed it up a little bit with my um, sparkly headband just to give it a little bit of something else. If I was having a girls night and I wanted to get pyjamas for everyone, I would probably choose these ones because I think they are just really lovely and they feel a little bit more smart. And we are finally at the end of Vlogmas. I can't believe it. I've still got a couple of videos to come this month. So you will be seeing my pack with me for skiing. I will try on all my outfits with you in the next video. And then I have my 2022 year review goal setting vision boarding video on at the end of the month. So a couple of videos to still come. I just want to say a huge thank you again for everyone that has enjoyed and watched Vlogmas with me this year. It's been so much fun. I have loved filming all the videos and next year I'm going to do it bigger and better. So thank you for watching again. All the details are in the description box and I will see you in the next one. Bye!